Today we're here in Sevierville, Tennessee, and we're gonna head into Five Oaks Farm Kitchen. You ready, Dawn? I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's do it. Today we're here in Sevierville, Tennessee, uh, right across the street from Tanger Outlets. We're here at Five Oaks Farm Kitchen for breakfast. Now we've done their lunch before, but we've never been here for breakfast. And these are the same folks that own Crockett's and Gatlinburg. So we wanted to see if they're similar or different, or maybe they're even better. We're here at 8 a.m. and the parking lot is already full. We had a hard time finding parking. And right next door they're building Sky Land Ranch. It's just like Anakista. Uh, it's gonna have a lift going up to the top of the hill. It's gonna have a mountain coaster and just a lot of fun things to do up there when it's completed. It even looks a little bit like Anakista, or at least the, the entrance does. But today we're gonna to be heading into Five Oaks Farm Kitchen. God's promise he'll never flood the earth again. I love rainbows. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Dawn. You're looking morning. you're looking beautiful this morning. So the seating here is kind of like a bench style seating. We've been here for lunch, but never for breakfast. And this is their menu. Breakfast from 8 a.m. to uh, 12 p.m. They also have merch you can buy. They have t-shirts, hoodies, caps, mugs, and, and other dry goods for sale. So we're gonna start out with a homemade cinnamon roll. So from the Harvest Morning Bounty, I'm gonna order the farm uh, tenant favorites. So have you decided what you're gonna get yet? Yeah, I'm just gonna get the Dr. John's Morning Ritual. Dr. John's, right? And the cinnamon roll has arrived. It's like, and look at all of the frosting down below. It's swimming in its own lake of frosting. Oh, I mean, good. what's better than that, right? Uh, and it's about as big as your 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 head. I mean, you, like I said, you could feed a few folks with that. But we ordered it because it's the signature thing that they have here. A lot of folks come here just for for this. And you can see all the cinnamon in there. And wow, yeah. It is, I mean, it's literally swimming in it. Okay, so we're gonna cut this right in half. Oh, wow. It looks good. Yeah, and they make them right here, you know. They're all, look at all the steam coming out of there. Wow. It looks nice and hot and fresh. It is. 
Yeah, it's still steaming. Nice warm cinnamon rolls. Oh boy, I'm gonna put a little bit of icing on this. Oh wow. You want some more in yours? Yes. <laughs> Can't waste the icing, it's the best part. So he's gonna take a bite of the ooey gooey cinnamon roll. Still steaming. Ooh, definitely warm. Yeah. I like it. Good. Now it's time for Dawn's first bite. But we've had these before, so this is not our first time. I think the center is the best. Morning. We didn't even get into our cinnamon roll, and our food is here. Wow, look at that. So I got some hash browns, some bacon, looks like there's some sausage and uh, country ham. Look at the gravy, yes. And they also got a, a nice biscuit. Uh, two eggs over easy. And those are the grits. It also comes with a huge pancake. Also over here. This is a huge meal for $15. And what did you order, Dawn? I guess it's a um, scrambler on one. It's the um, Dr. John. The Dr. John Ogle. Um, Scrambler. So that's the uh, like the scrambler. It's, mm -hmm. It looks really good too. It comes with a biscuit and you got some cinnamon apples. Cinnamon apples. Oh wow, yes. And the potatoes yeah. are on the bottom. Your skillet looks really good and cheesy at that. So must be potatoes and onions in it. Like, no. Really tasty, even the eggs and the cheese and the potatoes in there. And it's got bacon in it too. Oh wow, that looks good. Ah, yes. That is a lot to tackle. Hopefully Dawn will help me with some of this over here. I still have to get into that cinnamon roll. And also the huge pancake over here. We still do have that tub of icing to put the pancake. Yeah, we could probably put the pancake in there. That's a that's a huge pancake, by the way. I mean, just crazy big. I don't even know where to start. There is a lot of food here, like enough for two people. They are very generous with the um, with everything. I mean, there's plenty of bacon, uh, country ham, sausage, uh, hash browns, eggs, um, biscuits and gravy. Wow. I'm gonna get into this, um, I think it's an applewood bacon. Mmm. It's a very nice smoked um, bacon. And those are the hash browns. They're homemade. Um, really good. They're not out of a box. They're not frozen. They're definitely homemade. Ooh, and there's the sausage. Uh, very good. The right amount of spices. Um, good. So this is the country ham. Uh, they also have sugar ham. So if you never had country ham before, it's very salty. I kind of like it, uh, but not everybody's style. But they do have um, a sugar cured, so that is some good country ham. If you're a country ham lover, that's a good one. Number 
really enjoy my eggs. The biscuit is huge. <laughs> Full of like homemade cinnamon apples. The apples are really cinnamony and tender and you can really taste it's got a lot of flavor in it. You can really taste the flavor in it. So the bone is in the ham. That's cool. You don't like the bacon? Because of the smoke flavor. You're not into smoke I flavor. Smoke. So it's it's pecan, right? Pecan smoked. I thought it was apple, but I started thinking, no, it sounds more. It tastes more like pecan. Yeah, you don't like that, do you? No. But that's a personal preference because you just don't like smoke flavor. I don't like smoke anyway. Yeah. I thought the bacon was really good. Time for some. That gravy is super, super thick. I'll put a little bit on my, on my biscuit here. Yeah, that's that's good gravy when it's that thick. You can see the chunks of sausage in that gravy. The gravy is really good. It has a hint of smoke flavor in it. At least that's what I'm getting. And it is a little spicy, but it's loaded uh, full of a sausage and that. It's a really good gravy all together. The biscuits are above and beyond. Literally above and beyond. are the grits they're super thick they're not your traditional grits or at least some of the grits you can find in the area I didn't even get into the pancake that will definitely be going home with us I just grabbed a little piece of the pancake the pancakes really good too uh, it's sweet I think they call them griddle cakes or something they're a little different they're thicker and I can't even get anywhere near that pancake or that griddle cake they're sweet and just really fluffy throughout. All the food here is just really good. Um, it's just like Crockett's and Gatlinburg. So if you don't want to go to Gatlinburg and fight all that traffic and try to find parking, you can come out here to Five Oaks now. Their menus are different, but pretty much it's the same uh, concept, the same thing. Ah, uh, and we couldn't eat it at all, could no, we? <laughs> there is, there's a lot. It looks like we're gonna be having breakfast for lunch. The cinnamon roll was $6.79. Dawn's Dr. John casserole was $12.79. My farm tenant favorite was $16. The sodas were $3.29 a piece, and our total was $47.10. We just finished with our breakfast at Five Oaks Farm Kitchen, and when we walked inside, the atmosphere is just amazing. It was just open, and the tables, I love the tables, and then you got like the little pull-up benches with the tables. It's just a farm feel. It is. It definitely makes you feel like you're on the farm. It does, it does. So we walked in, they sat us down immediately. Uh, the service is super fast in here. So if you want to get a quick breakfast, I mean, you want to like hurry up and get from point A to point B, to, you know, and then out, definitely. We sat down, gave us the menus. I uh, brought out our drinks immediately after. Uh, we ordered a cinnamon roll to start off with. Uh, the cinnamon roll got there and then all of a sudden our entrees were like there too right there. um yes yeah, so y there is no weight whatsoever uh, so if you're super hungry and you want to get out in the mountains and the trails uh, definitely uh the folks there were really kind um very very nice uh, our server was top notch uh, right on top of it um, and that's why uh, five oaks farm kitchen is is one of those um, good restaurants in the area because you know, the service is really good. We've had lunch and dinner here before, but we've never had breakfast. No. And I would say breakfast out of all, all three of them is the best here. It's the best. It's the best. I ordered the Dr. Ogle's um, scrambler. Yeah, it's like a scrambler. It had like hash brown potatoes on the bottom, then egg and cheese with some onions mixed in. It was really good, very flavorful. 
Yes. And it came with the giant, giant jumbo biscuit. Oh boy, those were good. Yeah. <laughs> and I ordered that huge platter. It's like it, the thing's huge. Uh, it came with uh, eggs, sunny. Um, I got them over easy. Uh, hash brown, sausage, bacon, ham. I mean, everything on the menu was pretty much on that. Uh, the grits are really just out of this world. Um, everything was good. Um, the the biscuits and gravy there are top notch, folks. Top notch. Um, everything is really good. I have no complaints. Uh, um, definitely. So I guess the big question is Dawn. And we always ask this question. Would you do Five Oaks Kitchen again? Yes, it would. Definitely. Now, you guys all know that this is a sister location to Crockett's. Even though their menus are different, they don't have the same menu. But technically, it's it, there's a lot of items on there that are the same in, in any restaurant. We are talking to the staff in there, and they said that they bought the Texas Roadhouse building next to Crockett's in Gatlinburg. To open up a new location? Or open another restaurant. I think it's going to be geared probably more for, like, lunch and dinner and stuff. So you got to figure, you know, Crockett's next door. Maybe, you know, overflow. You know, Crockett's is always super busy. I mean, there's a lot of people there. So that's cool to know. Um, we knew that they bought the property. We knew that the building was sold. Um, but it's great to hear that it's going to be another restaurant. And they're also expanding in the area, too. Um, they have other restaurants that are going to be located throughout the Smoky Mountain region and other areas. So that is that is really cool, too. Um, they're, yeah, and it shows because, you know, they're successful because their food is really good here. Folks, that's going to do it for today here in Sevierville, Tennessee. If you guys like this vlog, give us a thumbs up. Also, put in the comments below, would you like to see more food reviews? Um, let us know. Let us know. The more comments and the more thumbs up we get, we'll do more um, food reviews. And until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.